Hey guys, cool long wave back. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. Rick. Eric. And we are here with another diabolical episode. Uh, last time we dealt with a baby yep. with laser eyes mm-hmm. having a little uh, outing. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> laser baby's day out. Baby in the brain. Saved from termination. Yes. When that terminating hundreds. Yeah. When that guy's brain, like he was trying to like put it back in, I kept thinking of uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. With the, the evil doctors like taking his yeah. brain out and scratching it, put him back in. It's always freaked me out as a kid. Yeah. Freak me out here. Except he didn't die, he did. Well, I wonder what more gruesome, terrible, crazy things we'll see in this episode. You didn't say diabolical. Sure, we'll find out. Huh? A soup's powers first emerge when they're kids, still living with their parents. But what happens when those parents discover their kids didn't get the big ticket powers like flight? Whose voice is this? Christian Slater? It's Christian Slater. A shit home for kids with shit powers. Exhibit A. Oh no. Probably pisses pants before he ever reaches the bathroom. Then there's Boombox. He's got a speaker for a face. All he can play is Only Wanna Be With You by Hootie and the Blowfish. (laughs) He just sits there, because he's fucking water. That's big. He's just really big. His best friend is human tongue. He's 100% muscle with no bones. Uh, Picante balls. He can melt anything. Uh, Picante. Ranch dressing cum squirter. That one's self-explanatory. Booby face. And there's ghosts. <laughs> it's not our job to take care of Bot's mistakes, okay? It's yours. We're leaving you here. This was a mistake. Damn. See Let's something get in the goddamn something. car before she falls in this hole. <laughs> That's flashback. He can... Well, you oh, know. Okay. Oh, that's handy. That is a Rick and Morty face. Yeah. yeah, it is. These kids have been underestimated their entire lives, and now it was finally going to pay off. Some of us stayed behind, not wanting to get wrapped up in the quest for vengeance. That's right. I'm the one talking. I'm a soup, too, and my power is I always tell people what's going on. I'm the narrator. As Barb wheeled her favorite patient away, (laughs) she thought about how butch and beefy he looked and what it would be like to suck on his huge... Oh, come on, Paul. (laughs) Uh, Anime is short where pissed off soups killed her parents. (laughs) Justin (laughs) Roiland. Justin Roiland. It is Rick and Morty. (laughs) It feels very Rick and Morty. Uh. But yes, we'll take the kid and help you move. You just can't, you know, talk about it. Ever. (laughs) Fuck my kids! Fuck my kids. Construct him. <laughs> now it's a snake. Wow, you guys really suck, huh? <laughs> You're up, papers! That's right, my name is Papers. Hey, uh, it's I wasn't Morty. introduced in the beginning, but because they think uh, maybe I'm not that important, but I can locate any papers anywhere, and I'm pretty good. Showtime! <laughs> <laughs> that one actually seems kind of useful. Yeah, it's pretty yeah useful. right? What is this, a note to buy? It's a, it's a grocery list. Okay, I'm noticing I might have a bit of a weak spot in understanding what's on what paper. And... Found them! Oh, you probably heard the papers rattling inside there because of me. <laughs> this is it. Give me some violent montage music. No. No. I only want to be with you. <laughs> so <laughs> What? I thought we got rid of you! It's like basket case. Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh, shit. Jeez! That's on brand. No! It can't be! <laughs> oh my gosh! Wait, 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 wait. We had to get rid of you. Uh, you were shitting all over the rug. Yeah. Oh, my rug. Yeah, this that's a hell of a way to do that. <laughs> he just... <laughs> mop, mop, mop. Is this the right house? It's the right house. That's my mom. She seems kind of nice. Hey, uh, flashback. Can you show us what this lady did to deserve this? Oh, you can show others. <laughs> Kill this lady! <laughs> I like how you transition shoots milk. Oi, how much longer you reckon it's gonna take? Why did I ask you? Oh jeez. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yes. Yeah. 
Oh, that's good. Shrimp girls, wait, help me! Shrimp girls! Shrimp girls! Shrimp girls, wait, go! He's teabagging! <laughs> she just says shrimp girls wait. <laughs> that house in this neighborhood. So that instead, I want to kill the small bit of meat that's in you. What? But she can't do anything, right? Papers. <gasps> oh my gosh, she's almost as good as foil. You sick freaks! Get away from me! <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> come on, come on. Just like this. <laughs> it went back. Oh my gosh! Oh, his tongue. No, don't stab tongue. Was she able to possess him? Yeah. I did it. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, oh shit. Oh boy. Well, but you can't do anything about ghost. Shit. Man. How could the narrator not pay his folks a friendly visit? Paul, Paul please. We, we only gave you compound B because we loved you. We, we, wanted, we wanted you to be special. But you weren't special enough to keep, his dad thought. Why is this spoon? Yield over to no, his father no, no, and put a spoon no, to his no, chin. No, 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 oh, he dug oh, with a spoon and scooped his dad's face on it. No, no. Then he put his dad's face on his own so that his face was his dad's face. Uh. He said, I'm sorry for being selfish, son. I love you. That's real <laughs> fucked up. Oh, yeah, it's wow. fucked up. Oh, wow. That was something. It <laughs> felt like a Rick and Morty episode. <laughs> it did. There were elements where, like, in the beginning, I'm like, this feels like Rick and Morty a little bit with, like, the art style. Yeah. And then it, when it zoomed in on Ghost and I saw, like, the pupils have, like, the, the squigglies. Yeah. They're the kind squigglies. of, like, squiggled. Yeah, they're yeah. not just a circle. Whenever they like, did that, the, feels like Rick and Morty. Like, lips thing is what I noticed. It. I've seen that in other stuff, though, too. But I don't, I don't think I've ever seen the pupils being, like, squiggly, usually. I feel like that one's different. So, it's interesting. Gruesome. Fantastic story. I, I loved it. Christian Slater. Christian Slater's a narrator. Is that is that who that was? was it Christian definitely Slater? has to be. Slater, yeah. He was the narrator. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> definitely. That's a Rick and Morty guy. Mm -hmm. Christian Slater. Yeah. Booby face was Kevin Smith. Really? <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. That's um, great. Okay, good. Mo, Mo Slow's dad was Keenan Thompson, which I thought it was. Keenan? Okay. Yeah, okay. I was like, that kind of sounds like Keenan Thompson. I wasn't sure. Oh, gotcha. But it, it was. Hmm. Those are the names I recognized initially. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, a lot of those powers were not not great powers. No. I love the way Kingdom did his, like, like he's like, I will cover you in blood. Turn yeah, you in he shark. has to think. He has to, like, plan it. Yeah. Because yeah. the animal thinks like an animal would. He doesn't get to think. How does he get to turn back? Maybe there's a time limit. Maybe whenever he falls asleep. I mean, how does Ghost sit on a bench? Mm. Just how does Ghost do anything? I mean, Ghost can like at the very least stay on like a plane and then sink into that plane. I mean, they're also weightless, so they're not actually having to like hold themselves up if they bend their body in a way that makes them look like they're mm -hmm. sitting down. But she rode in the bus. Sure, yeah. but she can fly. Too. She also, Maybe, so she's actively so she's, flying. <laughs> so she's actively flying yeah. in the same position as the bus. Just to is try going. to feel normal. It was the thing I was thinking about when the parents were leaving. Like, let's hurry me in the car before she follows us. And it's like, do you, does she does she fit in the car? Like, does that work, or does she just you just drive away? She just stays there. Like, I don't know. Well, I think part of the the thing about like leaving your kid there is you also have to move so they can't find you and come back and get you. Well, the one guy on the phone said like, yeah, we'll take care of it. We'll move you. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. That's not, I, mean, I just mean like. But yeah. So the as car long as seems to be a so story. as long as she can't find them after they leave the office, like if she can't follow them, then she won't be able to find them. Mm -hmm. I think is the idea. Yeah, how fast just can she the fly? Car. She probably just follow your car if she yeah. sees it. That's I mean, the thing. Nothing was keeping her there. That's the thing. You can't get away from her. There's no. But she also can't do anything. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, but I think she, she, now. she. They were taking advantage of her emotional distress. Of realizing that they didn't love her or want her, I think they were just hurrying to get in the car to get away from her. And I'm exactly. Like, and my whole question was, 
do you, does the car matter? Because can she sit in the car? Well, they can't fly, so yes, the car matters. <laughs> am, am I wrong? Let's say they want to break. It's just breaking line of sight between the parents and the kid so that yeah. the kid can't follow the parents. Mm-hmm. And the best way to do that for the parents is to get in their car and leave. Yeah. Sure, I just, I'm not disagreeing that what you think is right or wrong. I'm just saying my implication that I felt was not that. <laughs> And my thought process went into, does a car matter for this woman? Yeah. That was, that was, my, that was what I was wondering. Like, Same reason that he's talking about the bus. Like, the, does her sitting in the bus work? Or does she just I mean, she's go just, through it? She's she just didn't. occupying that space mm-hmm. by flying in in relative position it, in the bus. It's like her standing on the ground. But then sure. how does she, she can, decide? She can go through the ground or she can go up into the sky. Like, it doesn't matter where she is. It's just she has matters. Nerves relatively yeah. where she is to other things. She has no clip turned on, so she can make herself look like she's on the ground if she wants to. Yeah. Yeah. But really, she... But really, she could go anywhere yeah. she wants to. Which, and apparently, can possess people. Which would be a very interesting flow to Homelander. Can yeah. she possess Homelander? She might not be able to... Well, um, I think she just pretended. I don't think so, because she, she made him go faster. Did he? Yeah, he was going very slow. Uh, she did it, and he's like, oh. I would say I felt like it was going to be more of a this way I can feel like I'm doing it. Yeah. But it also yeah. felt like the blade itself was going like this, and then when she kind of had her hand there, it yeah. sped up just a little bit more. Not and a lot. And then she had just an expression of surprise, like, oh, my God, I did that. Hmm. So I, I think that it's just she's never tried that before. Maybe. This episode seems to be contradictory from the last one because it seems like they kill the worthless ones. Yeah. In the last episode. Sure. But not in this one. Well, it's not that they're worthless here, right? Like, this idea of... Well, in that one there, they were testing them. And I don't know what happened to the babies. The parents weren't there. In this one here, it was like all these ones went with their parents, but then their parents said no. Sure. So the other ones didn't have parents, where these ones did. Yeah. Yeah, it was like Vought raising them versus parents nice. raising yeah. them. Yeah, and then the these parents, parents so I, yeah. I don't want them, so they put them in like a foster yeah. homey place where they just lived. Yeah, I think so. there were two different projects hmm. so from Vought. They well, might not so be too if it is, If it is like a, a thing where it's a contradictory, it's also an anthology series where they probably just like, go tell a fun story. Sure. It yeah. doesn't really matter too much. And Justin Rowland got to tell a fun story. Well, certainly. I mean, we, we got, got to have s- boobies. We got to see like uh, an effective and <laughs> reasonable teabagging scene. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's interesting because isn't Christian Slater a voice in Rick and Morty? Wasn't he the one dude? Which dude? From like the Avengers? He might have been. Oh. They weren't the Avengers, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I thought I think the he was one of, I think he was one of the voices in, in that group too. So Probably. he's worked with Rick and Morty and them before. Yeah. The narrator. Was Rick and Morty voices both in here? Uh yes. Yeah, yeah because uh, they're both paper? the same guy. Oh <laughs> paper was was yeah yeah that was just clearly Morty's oh, voice. Rick. Uh, Morty. Oh, get the uh, and that was a Rick and Morty gag. Yeah, it's like I can mind the papers. Oh, uh, actually, oh, there's no. there's quite a few. <laughs> <laughs> See, like uh, some of these, I feel like there's specific situations that you could use them. I'm trying to think one for slow mo. Like, where does slow mo have wait, an advantage? Did ranch dressing kill? I don't know. His parents? They never came back to him. We saw the water guy do it and stuff, yeah. but we, I feel like we saw almost everyone, but yeah. not him. Even Booby Face. Like, he might have been one of the ones that stayed behind. Maybe too. he's really happy with his power. He loves ranch dressing. Yeah. Free ranch. Like, it's great. As long for as life. Money. But only if you get off, right? Only you can just ranch. Yeah. So here's the question. Sure. Yeah, but you could get whenever it, like, you Whenever you get hungry, do you also get horny because of conditioning? It's like when you ring a bell, dogs... No, salivating you should. I mean, you should do that when you have Stop. to get ranch dressing. But I think what you should do is like you just prepare yourself and get some stored away for when you need it later on. So you just do a whole bunch, so you have a reservoir. Yeah, I mean, you do Keep it, like, it you refrigerated. Know, how many times a day? Ranch dressing. How much do you get? Like it depends you know? on the brand too. Like, like Hidden Valley. Yeah, is it Hidden Valley or a sure? Like, does his diet affect it at all? Yeah, like ranch. Does light. the flavor change? Yeah. Does he? Does, does he the, like have a bunch of vinegar and it like changes the flavor? Well, does yeah. he eat a lot of ranch and eating? If, like, he does eats it start, pi- if he eats pineapple, does it affect the taste? Does it make it sweeter? Yeah. Can you change how much ranch you get Asparagus. at a time? Asparagus. If you take those pills that they advertise in, like, gas stations and stuff. Like, do you get, like, a ranch cup from McDonald's? Or do you get, like, a little a little bottle? You know? like Is he sterile? Can he, can he 
Well, if it's I'm, rich, no, I think it would change it, right? I, I yeah. would say that it's it's not semen. Yeah, exactly. You can't have children. No, you can't. That? No, but he can't have chicken nuggets. Children nuggets. Ranch. Guys, thank you very much for checking out this episode of Diabolical. You know that you want to check out all the discussions that are coming up for the next couple episodes, and you can check those out right now at patreon.com slash blindly. But we have the next four available. Go check them out. See you next week.